My name is B.R. Hughes. I was an outdoor writer. I was also a college administrator, taught history and journalism both at the college level. I made a lot of friends in the bladesmithing community. In 1976, there were only approximately 12 practicing bladesmiths in the United States. And my dear friend, Bill Moran, who lived in Maryland, come to me with the idea that we need an organization to preserve the art of bladesmithing. I thought it was a, not a particularly good idea because I didn't think that many people would be interested. But in the summer of 1976, the only three men in America making Damascus steel at that time, Bill Moran, Bill Bagwell, and Don Hastings, met in Bagwell's shop in Vivian, Louisiana, and invited me to come down. And that day, the seeds of the American Bladesmith Organization were, were sown. We signed the papers incorporating the American Bladesmith Society on December the 4th, 1976. We grew very slowly. And if it had not been for the fact that you had to be a bladesmith to make the mask of steel, I don't think the organization would have succeeded. But even with that, it grew slowly. Moran decided that we needed a school to teach bladesmithing. There wasn't such a school in the world. But since I was dean at Texarkana College, I had a little influence there. And with the help of James Powell, we convinced the president of the college to administer a bladesmithing school to be taught at Washington, Arkansas, which is the home of the Bowie Knife. And we opened the doors of the bladesmithing school May the 1, 1988, and that was the catalyst that made the ABS a success. We had individuals coming from literally all over the world, England, France, even the Orient, to learn the art of the forge blade. We grew a lot quicker after that, and we started having our national show. We made in co co cooperation, excuse me for staggering, uh, the, we met in a collaboration with the Blade Show in Atlanta, Georgia. We still do. Today we have over 1,400 members from the original four. And we have schools of bladesmithing in Old Washington, Clyde, North Carolina, Auburn, Maine, and Troy, Ohio, as well as schools in Belgium and South Africa. And I think the dream of Bill Moran has really been preserved because I think the future of the forge blade is solid, whereas in 76, it was very doubtful if it would survive. And here we are today learning, learning more about bladesmithing. Dr. James Batson has done a wonderful job here in Alabama. He started, the first hammer in the ABS had was in 1984 in Washington, Arkansas. Dr. Batson has been having hammer here since 1987, so this is the second oldest uh, hammer in in America. Terrific, and um, it's been a great show so far. Oh, it always is. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Is that all right? Sorry, I stammered. <laughs>